All right, trying the curbside at Home Depot. This time, now that I know where the parking spots actually are, I think it should be a much better experience. Ordered our new sink, a new faucet, and plumber's putty, and a few other things that I think I need. But I think I'm going to be making another trip back here because I don't know what I need for the drainage stack, drain pipe. Because we're moving the hole. We're going from a two-hole sink to a one-hole sink which means we're gonna have to uh, gotta just move the pipes around. You know what I mean? Move the pipes around. All right, so taking on a pretty big project here with trying to replace our sink. So this has never been a very good sink. I'm not sure exactly the construction that they uh, they use for this, but this pipe, which had the metal connected to the plastic, always had this little part that I think they put on there for the dishwasher, but it wasn't connected to anything. So if the sink ever got backed up, that would roll out. So I just very fixed that with plastic. But then this started leaking and I was like, it's time to go ahead and just replace this sink. It's a crappy sink. It's small, it's inefficient. We've never liked our faucet. So if you're gonna replace the sink, you might as well replace the faucet. If you're gonna replace the faucet, you might as well replace the whole doggone island. If you're gonna replace the island, you might as well get all new cabinets in the kitchen. Yeah, we're not doing all that. We're just replacing the sink and the faucet. Let's keep it simple. <laughs> Now, if I could just put a cap on that, we'd be golden. So I sent my brother, who is very knowledgeable in these things, a couple of texts saying, should I seal it off here or should I cut that off and try to seal it there? That there's not a good place because the joints, the fittings are so close together. And he gave me an answer, which I wasn't real happy with at first. He said, if you want the plumber solution, cut it off down here at the bottom and replace the entire stack. If you want the back alley solution, then just seal it off up here. But after I thought about it and did some more research, I thought, I'm going to go for the plumber solution. Let's do it right. So I'm cutting out this entire stack and replacing it with new drainage. I hope I don't regret that. One of the videos I watched in prepping for this said that whenever you mess with the shutoff valves when they haven't been turned off in a long time, it almost always causes a leak and you need to replace them. While I'm trying to do things right, I also want to do them economically, and so I'm going to shut off the main water instead of the local shutoff valves just so we don't disturb anything there. just great another getting the camera wet incident perhaps I should switch to the GoPro for this next one So close. And then I bent that blade. Alright, 
uh, had a little bit of an issue when we test fit the beautiful new cast iron single bowl sink into the hole. The shape of this particular sink isn't square. The It fit like right in the centers, but the angles are so rounded, there were big gaping holes at the corner, so it couldn't fit it in. So. Unfortunately, I have everything taken apart, and so we can't special order anything at this point. We need to get a working sink, so I'm going back to get the stainless steel version of it, which will be fine. It just won't look as nice as the white cast iron. Perfect, huh? <laughs> I love that. That works really, really nice. I think there were only two major issues that I had to OODA loop myself through. One was cutting the drain stack off. There wasn't enough space to attach a new fitting um, to the PVC pipe once I'd cut it off at that point. So it was pretty tight. So I had to cut into the cabinet a little bit and uh, create more space. And then the second was the fact that the sink I bought didn't fit. There were big gaping holes. It was rounded uh, more so than I had thought. So it measured 33 inches at the center and 22 at the center, but then it was a full inch shorter up at the corners by the way it oval in, which my hole in my counter did not work that, so I had to go back and uh, got a stainless steel sink instead of the cast iron that we wanted. I don't think there were any other real big issues that we had to deal with. Fairly minor OODA looping. <laughs> 